Alright, so you're welcome to this tutorial. My name is Cell, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the PPE monitoring tool. So this is a very special tool that we've designed to help users to effectively manage their PPE at the workplace. So we are talking about people who are directly responsible for PPE, either you are the stock keeper or the safety professionals who have direct influence in the use of PPE. Now, the overall goal of this tool is to ensure that there is, there is effective management of PPE to avoid stock, stock out or situation where workers do not have PPE at all to, to work with. The idea is that at all costs, PPE must be made available. So this tool has a very interesting features. Um, we have the approved list that you just will build a database of all the um, provide a list of all the PPEs and the real other levels. Users can also are uh, required on this sheet to build a database of all the employees, the department, and location. And we also have the PPE stock monitoring sheets. This is the main working area. There is a dashboard that gives you a visual um, representation of what has transpired over here. And then we have a PP register that provides a list of all the employees, the date PP was issued and, um, and the various types of PPEs and whether they've signed for it and the department and location. And we have the PP stock position where by just clicking on, on this, you're able to know the exact stock um, quantity that has been received till date, quantity issued till date and quantity remaining. And we have the PP usage history for each employee where you're able to tell all the types of PP that were issued to them at and at what times they received them. And we have the PP movement, stock movement. So basically, total stock received, total stock issued, and we have the stock position. So these are the graphs that we've utilized to create this dashboard. Right on this dashboard, basically PP stock movement, PP stock position, and PP usage for each employee. Now, to start using this tool, obviously you need to make sure that the list of PP have been provided. You need to make sure all the PP are here, and then also ensure that you've set the reorder level. So reorder level is the level below which you need to restock. So in that regard, you have to now engage procurement to ensure that. They start a process of procuring PP, and because that takes a while, that can take several weeks into months. You want to make sure that you set a reasonable real reorder level that will give you enough room to still have some stock remaining whilst you make arrangement to restock. So we have the inflow, the outflow. This is what we use to know denote whether we are receiving PP or we are giving out PP. And that is um, a feature that is will be utilized on the PP stock monitoring sheet. And then again, we have a database of all the employees. So as you select the employees from the the, the PP stock monitoring, all these de uh, details will be populated automatically. So this is the main working area that you are supposed to spend most of your time. And before we get into it, or before you start using, you need to get rid of the data you get rid of it and then once you are done you go to the data tab on the menu and you click on refresh all and then we can now start okay so this is based on a simple concept okay a simple concept of inflow and outflow so before you start using this tool you need to make sure that you have some inflows and basically that would be like a, a, a stock count that we've already done on the types of PPEs that are available. So we've done a stock count of hard hat safety boots, earplugs, um, earmuffs, okay, reflective, uh, basically these just um, these few ones, okay. And then in terms of the current stock position, we need to now use inflow. Sorry. We need to now indicate with inflow and then we provide the person who received it um, 
so on the approved list we don't have anybody from warehouse so assuming we have mina from who is in the warehouse department okay and mina is based in accra this is just random data we just select mina and i can tell automatically we know that mina is in the warehouse located in accra and mina, mina actually received all these pp and the quantity received were let's say 10 each okay so you can see that we have we have quantity remaining and they are in stock but there is a real order for safety boots so let's assume we received 500 or let's say 600 for safety boots you notice that we have it in stock because there's a real, real order level of 500 for safety boots so let's just keep it like that now when we start issuing a pp to employees um for example hard hats on um july in the month of july we issued hard hats and that was an outflow so outflow we gave it to joshua and we issued out one hard hat to joshua so that's what happens you know the remaining stock joshua is in the technical department um at not greenwich let's say the same month or the same date we gave out safety boots okay and that was, that was an outflow and we gave it out to let's say another another department in another location so that must be kwame kwame is also um maybe a stock keeper somewhere we had to transfer a stock of products stock of safety boots to him to distribute his work so we gave out 400 to kwame and we have the remaining stock as 200 so you realize that we have a real other level the real other notification pops up or it's there's a color notification there that tells us that we have exceeded the real other level so so once we continue to issue out for example safety boots this time around to um another person like um philip and we give philip just one okay you realize that we have 199 um safety boots currently in stock now assuming we received stock of safety boots again because we engaged procurement to make arrangements to procure that and now we've ish we received um safety boots that was by Mina. We have 500. You realize that we've received um, our current stock position is 699. Okay. Now, what we need to now do is that we go to the dashboard, we click on refresh all, and we have now the, the data presented on the dashboard. Okay. And then we can take our time to provide all the people who receive the PPN, the types of PPN they received, and all. All right, so this is an interesting template as it tells us the exact stock position. For instance, for safety boots, you can tell that we've received 1,100 and then 401 has also been issued out, remaining 699. So this is something that we can check on the PP monitoring, uh, PP stock monitoring, and you can see that when it comes to safety boots, we did receive 600 and then 500. So that's 1,100 and that is exactly what we have over here, 1,100. And then we can tell the, the PP usage history for each employee. So there's a very good template that can help you to effectively manage your PPE whilst you set real other levels to make sure that you are prompted adequately on when exactly or at what quantity exactly you need to reorder and then there is a dashboard that helps you to visualize and then we have stock position also telling us the quantity received and the quantity issued and then also pp usage history all right so if if there's something that you are interested in feel, feel free to get in touch and if you want us to further customize it for your need to so don't hesitate at all to to get in touch thank you for watching Thank you.